If you want some nice run plays to use on the goal line and all over the field to rush for many yards and force rage quits, relax. I got you. Today's run plays are in the I form slot formation, and the plays are Halfback Blast, put on to me by subscriber Joseph Oil U4001. I hope I'm saying that name right. This play can be found in the Bills, Chargers, Cowboys, Jets, Raiders, Titans, and the West Coast Playbook. The next play sounds like an old guy. 95 Willie can only be found in the Bills playbook. And lastly, halfback toss can be found in the Titans and West Coast playbook. My next video that I will be dropping will be a passing scheme that coincides with these run plays. So if you like Madden content like this, subscribe, like the video, share the video, and let's beast in Madden together. Now the first play is the halfback blast. You can flip this play, which is great. Also, I always max protect when I run this play, and then I double team the gap that I'm going to. I double team that defensive tackle over the gap I'm going to. I let my fullback block for me, and for some reason he didn't block the way I wanted him to, but that's okay. You're going to get about five or six yards with this play every time. Okay. Let's see. Let's get this. Look at this. Go ahead, pull back, block, and we get a almost touchdown. Almost. But really great play. Thanks a lot to the subscriber, Joseph Oil EU 4001 This is a good play. I don't know about the best play, but it is a really good play. I mean, the blocking is great on this. And you can flip it, which is great. Okay. Let's see. Let's run up Clark's butt. Let's run up Clark's butt. See, you just get in there and you just pick your yards up. It's real hard to play this run because you don't know if you're going to the left or to the right. It's just a really good play. In this case, we'll double team him right there. Let them get those blocks. You'll get your yards. I utilize these on the red zone as well. On the goal line, these plays are real nice. These plays I'm showing you, they're real nice. I forgot to uh, max protect right there, but that's okay. Okay. Now, this is the halfback blast against random goal line plays. As you see, we still can get in there. It's a really nice play. Uh, you can flip it. Just make sure you double team that guy. Block aggressive. You see, we're still getting in there. The blocking is just really good with that fullback coming out of the backfield. It's just a really good play. Let's run it one more time, and then let's get into the next play. Now, this is the 95 Willie. Okay, let's just run it real quick. This is a three deep. But when we run this play, we're going to let that lead blocker Run uh block for us. That pulling guard is our lead blocker. Okay, we'll do our same setup like we did for the halfback blast. Max protect and double team where we're going, but we're going to be patient and let that lead blocker lead the way. Okay, let the lead blocker lead the way. The lead blocker is going to be your pulling guard. Okay, if you see, we're patient. We let that pulling guard get over there. He picks that block up, and we go right up the hole and find. More yards, pick up more yards. Where you at, lead blocker? Where you at, lead blocker? Where you at, lead blocker? That's how you run the 95 Willie. Don't outrun or overrun your lead blocker. Let him block for you. Let him block for you, and you'll pick up a lot of yards. Okay? Great thing about this play, just like the halfback blast, is you can flip this play. I don't like it. Let's see. Yeah, I don't like that size. So we'll keep it here. Okay. Pick those blocks up. And then just pick your yards up. 
real hard play to stop. You have a lot of blockers coming into those gaps. If guys are shooting those gaps, a lot of blockers coming into there. So it's hard to stop this run in the backfield. If so, you'll stop it after about five yards. As long as you are letting that lead blocker block. Now, this is a 95 Willie against random goal line defenses. Okay, we do the same thing. We max protect and we double team that gap where we're going. It's really going to be this one right here. Okay, and then we just let that lead blocker come, that pulling guard come over there and block for us. Okay, max protect. We're going here. Look at the lead blocker picking up that block for us, man. Look at that lead blocker. You're patient. If you're not patient, you get hit in the backfield on this play. You get hit in the backfield on this play. Be patient. If we're just running towards that gap, we get there before that guard. We let the guard pick him up. He's out of the play. We read the blocks. We can get to that outside. Get to that outside. Score an easy touchdown, guys. Let's flip it. I know it's saying don't run it over here, but let's just see what will happen if we do. Okay, all right. It said don't run it over there, and we ran it over there. Let's stick to where we're supposed to run. Right here, we have no choice. Right there. Easy, 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 guys. We'll run this one more time, and then we'll get into the final play, guys. Okay, this is the halfback toss, guys. Really great blocking for this play, if you run it the way I'm going to tell you. If you don't run it the way I'm going to tell you, the blocking is not going to be as good, and you're going to be taking losses, hits in the backfield, and everything. So when I run this play, I do not slide protect, and I do not double team. You have... Everybody on the right side pulling, your tight end, your fullback, your guard, and your center, and your tackle, okay? When I run this play, I run in between the guard and the center if they pull, okay? So here they go, right there. Everybody just blocked great, and we, we were able to pick up about six or seven yards, but for some reason, that was a glitch right there. But let's run this again. Look at that guard in that center. I get in between those guys and then run upfield. Do not take it to the outside. This is if you, this is 3D, but this is if you take it to the outside. Let's go to the outside. Everybody's out here, okay? That was a 3D. I'll show you if you take it straight to the outside. When you run this play, this is a perfect example. We're running it straight to the outside. Let's get to the outside. We can't get anything. But if you look at this replay, Look at this replay. Look at how that blocking was developing. If we are waiting for that guard and we go in between those guys, we kick pick up a lot of yards if we start cutting it upfield right about here. Start cutting it upfield, let those guys block, and then you'll get more yards, guys. Let's look at this. We go up here. We go up here. We find the hole. We let those guys block. We go up. We don't go to the outside. Right here, we had to go to the outside. Then we get it to the outside. But we let that block get on that outside. We don't outrun it. Okay? Let's go up here. Then let's cut out. Easy, easy, easy. You cannot flip this play, which would make this scheme really nice. Let them pull. We're going in between 76. Let them pull, let them pull, get out here. This time we had to take it to the outside because that's the way the blocking developed. If that blocking develops where we take it to the inside, like right here, that blocking develops where we take it to the inside and we get more yards. Those guys right in between. Bam, right there. Hmm. Okay. Okay, Herbert, I see you, bro. If you guys like this run scheme, Check out the other run scheme I have where you can combine these both and dominate your opponents and force rage quits. Check the video in the description of this video below.